All right, so six months ago, I made this video about escaping web dev and trying to learn machine learning and AI. And since then, I have uh, become a physics teacher, I guess. So this is all about the journey from here to there, how this happened. So I made this one video. It was meant to be a one-off, but it got super popular. So I thought, huh, maybe I can make a living out of this YouTube thing. Very quickly, I learned that there are exceptions uh, who can make it just on advertising while still being having integrity. But in general, you got to sell out. Either you sell out in the good way where you make a product to sell and that's useful and helps your audience, or you just produce slop and sell ad sponsorships to the highest bidder. So uh, anyways, I was trying to sort all that out, figuring that out. Meanwhile, my actual learning was slowing down a ton and I was trying to pursue project-based learning, but like five projects at once, so they didn't go anywhere. I'll uh, share the problems with project-based learning in another video. It, like it's very good, but it's not the end-all be-all like it kind of implied in this previous video. One of the things I did was uh, make a map of this book. Very good book, by the way. And I started the series. Uh, you can still download the map. It's, I think it's quite good, but I felt bad making it because I didn't have the amount of real-world experience that I really feel I needed to be doing like the whole like expert shtick on this. Granted, most of the other YouTube content I've seen on this book, I don't think they have the experience needed either. But still, uh, I felt I needed more projects under my belt in order to keep making that series. So, of course, I did more math. So I got hooked back into Math Academy with their discrete math course. And you may be thinking, why would you do discrete math if like you're wanting to do AI engineering, ML engineering, like it's only tangentially related. And that is a good point. It's because their system is extremely addicting. Like the XP, the uh, way it just like moves you slowly through it and like you get this really feeling of mastery. And there's a reason they call it mastery learning. And like compared to all the other ways of learning this type of content, it is just so, it feels so good. And, you know, it would be great if it was there for the subjects that were actually really important to me. But no, Math Academy is just for math. So I ended up studying more math than I needed. But then uh, around the end of April, I had a conversation with a friend and quit math cold turkey because now I finally had a project that I was really excited about that I could really sink my teeth into. And at the very least, I would learn a ton of practical lessons about AI engineering. So it morphed several times, but what it ended up being was this thing where you had AI generated lessons arranged in a graph and it would read them to you and then it quizzed you on them once you were at your destination can look at your phone again and i made a computer networking course that was pretty good like uh maybe it's not like the top one ever but like it's it's up there it's like better than a average teacher would do i think uh I tried a chemistry course as well, but it sucked. Uh, the AIs are still bad at arranging long form skill based instruction. So I decided this platform couldn't do anything skill based or math based, since in this experiment, I wanted it to be purely AI generated. After all, the goal was to get better at AI engineering. So I built that, I put out a private alpha, and the number one feedback I got was hey, uh, why is this not more like Math Academy? So meanwhile, I started talking with Chris Sutherland, who's a physics PhD, former USC lecturer, and a uh, retired TikTok celebrity. And he was building a course on quantum computing. Our philosophies really aligned, 
and we we're building something similar. So we decided to team up and uh, we have a company now. This new project is very, very inspired by Math Academy. We've got mastery learning, space repetition, XP and gamification, very heavy on the practice. You know, you get just a little bit of content and then you got to practice, you got to solve problems. We wanted that addictive Math Academy experience in more subjects, so we're building it for physics. And eventually we want to cover chemistry and maybe some engineering disciplines as well. Let's see uh, how much we can scale this. Unlike my previous project, we're actually being pretty conservative about AI usage. Like there's a lot of vibe coding in getting it ready this quickly, but the lessons themselves for the quantum computing course are all written by hand. Chris had been writing them for the past eight months. And we're gonna be trying to enhance the writing speed for future lessons using AI. And we're starting experiments into that this week, but there will always be a human directing the process. And from a technical perspective, this is actually a much more interesting problem than trying to prompt LLMs into one-shotting a perfect lesson every time. Like getting the human control and making it so they can write twice or three times as fast. Like, I think that's the future. And from a student perspective, you're going to get really high quality lessons, just as good as if a human typed them out character by character, possibly better, but you can get them faster. We can release courses faster. So anyways, we just launched our first course. It's on quantum computing. You only need high school math, algebra, and some trigonometry, and we teach the rest of it. And... Check it out at physicsgraph.com. We have a launch special right now where the quantum computing course is half off. And next, we're going to be building a course on classical mechanics, aka physics one. So if you're seeing this in a couple months, that is the first modules that will probably be ready. So anyways, that's what I've been doing the last six months. If you're interested in physics, uh, go ahead, check out the site, and I hope you enjoy. And I'll be making more videos about studying and physics and AI engineering soon because uh, now I can do the good kind of selling out.